What's up guys? We're back at it again, out in the boat. Thinking I'm going to replace my speedometer for a marine style radio. Um, got it ordered. But I figured, I, don't, I haven't seen many YouTube videos on how uh, guys are removing these, so I figured I would make a quick video. Uh, at least part one will be removing the speedometer um, and getting it out of the way so I can mount the radio when it comes in. So, All right, so first and foremost, before you do any work on your boat, no matter what it is, electrical, you always want to make sure your master master switch is off or just remove your uh, power from your battery. So my boat, luckily, uh, Ranger, it's already on off, so I know I don't have any power going to the boat. Uh, any switches or anything they're all dead so um, always make sure you disconnect your battery before you're doing any kind of work like this uh, it's very important all right so this speedometer right there is what I'm going to be replacing with uh, boss uh, radio I'll put the link in the description down below which one I bought all right guys so there's the back of the speedometer uh, it's just uh, held in by 210 uh, I think they're 10 millimeter uh, nylon nuts and then you take off the other nuts behind that uh, and then just the, the main uh, harness there just disconnects. Alright guys first thing first we got to remove these two white nylon nuts they are after trial and error uh, 9 millimeter so let's get them going. experience they they back out hard the whole way I've had to replace the uh, few of these uh, switches as well Now we got those bolts off. With any luck, this will just pull right out. There's a one of the brackets here. Goes one side. There's another bracket. And then voila. Let's straight out. Now we'll move you over to the front. All right, here is the front. Really not much to it. Uh, this style boat, it's all, uh, there is no uh, water line, water tube going to the, uh, from the back of the pickup of the motor uh, to the gauge. So I don't have to worry about any kind of uh, tubing. So that's good, it's just strictly uh, digital. So simple as that guys. You just Now you just pinch the two clips on the sides here, uh, right here. Here, don't mind the band-aid I cut myself earlier. Uh, open up a, a packet of uh, seasoning from some pork chops. I tell you what, it got me good. Anyway, so yeah, we'll just get this disconnected. So we'll get this connector off. It's in there pretty tight, so just keep rocking it back and forth. And voila. Hopefully the camera can show that. There's the gauge simple as that what we'll do is we will I don't know if I'll find a try to find a cap that goes over that just to keep those pins sealed or we'll just uh, put some good old electrical tape over it just to keep it keep the water from getting in there we'll uh we'll zip tie it up to where it uh, where the it, the holes are at least facing up as well just to help uh, help with the water from getting in there so guys you definitely can't be afraid uh, to do some work on your own boats uh, as long as you have a basic understanding of wiring and and whatnot um, it, it really is pretty simple to do uh, removal of the speedometer simple straightforward 
when we get the new one in, the new radio in, uh, we'll show you where we're going to put the speaker. Um, I'm hoping it'll fit. Uh, it should be, hopefully it'll fit right. I'm going to remove that uh, vent hole there and just put the sp speaker in that position. It's a four inch diameter, so uh, the hole, so hopefully it'll fit right in there. And then uh, uh, wiring it up will be simple. And I'm just going to tie it into uh, one of these accessory switches here. Um, that way, when I do turn power on, to the to the boat um, the radio still won't come on until I hit the accessory switch that way at least it won't be on the full time uh, just help help save the battery when I'm not using the radio so simple as that guys uh, look for look for the second part of this video we'll show you the install process hope you enjoyed it uh, thanks for watching uh, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button in the corner I really appreciate it and uh, stay tuned we'll be back